What is up guys, I'm Darwa and today I'm going to teach you how to record 360 degrees videos. If you don't know what those are, it's like 360 Minecraft videos on YouTube where you can look around as if you were playing the game. So I've done a few of videos like this, so if you just play you can look around by pressing WASD or even just by moving the mouse, you can look around, it's like as if you're playing the game. So first of all you need this folder, I'm going to leave the download in the description that will contain all of this and I'm going to show you how to use all those files. So first of all you need of course Minecraft and you have to at least launch the 1.8 version. So you just have to go onto installations, new, uh, search for 1.8 and click on create and then just launch Minecraft like this. Once it is launched you can just close it and go back to the folder. Now we need forge. Uh, to record those videos we need a mod named the replay mod and to use this mod we need forge. So you just install it, you just open it, you press, uh, uh, you choose the directory where you have .minecraft and just to install this. Then you open the replay mod and go to this link that contains all the download for the mod. So here we can see we have different versions. If you want to use this on any other version I'm going to teach how to do this. On 1.8 it's the same process. Just one thing, you, uh, on 1.14 and 1.15 it is different, you need Fabric. It's like another program that supports mod, but I'm going to teach you how to do this on 1.8. So, so for every version from 1.7.10 to 1.12.2 you can do this. For the next versions you need Fabric that is kinda different. I'm going maybe to the tutorial, just let me know in the comments if you want this. Once you've downloaded this you will get a Java file uh, .jar file, that is going to be the mod. So if you just go to AppData, how to do this, you just click here and do percentage if data percentage. So then you open .minecraft and you go onto the folder mods. Here you can just create a new folder, name it 1.8 and just put in this jar file that you've just downloaded from this website. Then you can just close, open Minecraft. So you, so you will find this here this Forge release. Once you have installed Forge and uh, you have uh, put uh, the Java file into the mod folder, into the uh, folder 1.8. So you can just launch Minecraft. So when you open Minecraft you will find this, you can just press cancel. So once we're here we can just go like on single player, create a new world, name it like uh, 360 degrees tutorial. I'm going to do this, to do this on creative. Cheats on, everything on, okay, you can just start. You will see recording on here. So you can see here recording started and now the replay mode is recording everything that we are doing. So we can like fly around, go here, build a nice house made of course of dirt. Like this, this is an awesome house. I 100% live in this. Here, a furnace, just random things to make the house well looking, just to get something to record in 360. Now that we have this, we can just like do something like come out of the house, shift a few times, do this, and like type in sub to derwa, and then we can just leave the game. So we, can, we press here, left, leave game, and there we go, we have left the game. Now we can go on to replay viewer, in the top we have 360 tutorial. We can just load this and there we go. So now once you're in here like you can move around it's like as if we are a virtual camera. Like we can record things and to do this we can like set up a track that the camera will do. So like if you start here we can make the camera like go around here then maybe go ahead and go up record everything just move and to do this we can just like select the first frame, like where we want the camera to start. So we can just go here, create a new keyframe and a new position keyframe. And if you move our back, you can see that it is here. And if you, right, if you right click on here, you will get this same view. So then you can just press P and move with the character, like uh, in the same time we can move, like do here, go here. So now you can see that a whole line has been created that goes from this start to this position keyframe, so we can go here, then we can go ahead and make another like movement, like here, I don't know, like here, press P, 
and create a new and you can see that the camera will automatically do this path to get from here to there to there press p when you move so like you have the, you move in the same time then press again p press v and press t to see your cursor and press add position keyframe so you can see that you can see this like curve that is being created you can go ahead with this workflow press p press t to see your cursor press v to synchronize and again add this i have to go all like this so you can just create a fine cinematic of this like this then we can change the direction of the curve so go here you can like enter the house you have to by the way be really careful about how you enter the house because you might clip through the walls as you can see this is clipping through the wall so like in the in the part where the camera you can see the camera that is moving like this in this section here we're going to add a new keyframe here like this all right now you can just press v and just go on you can go back out of the house like this maybe like go uh, on the top like this this way then go on the back and the cool thing is that you can also rotate like if you want like to rotate you can press J and you can see it spins like hell and K it resets and L spins the other way so it's really cool if you want like to make something like drawn things it could be really cool there we go we've got our path you can see it, it is really uh, confusioner I know but it's just okay it's okay now, when you want now to output the video so you want to record the video you need to press first of all on the end keyframe add this and this is going to select all the path that we want now before we start to press X and then save us and then type in something so you save the path and if everything crashes you can just launch again this replay press X and then click on this and then load and you will have all the progress saved back now that we are done we can just press T press on render camera path but we, before we do that I want to see again all the all the path so we can press here click play camera path from cursor position so click this and you can see all the movement is going everything is automatical it is really smooth you can see now I know you, that we are not pointing the right direction but I will show you how to fix this because this is going to be a 360 videos so we won't be seeing only this but everything around us so it's not a problem the only problem is that you want to always point at the same point this is because like when you're watching a 360 videos and like you're looking somewhere and if the screen moves like turns around when you're not turning it can give some nausea sensation so you you don't want to do this you just want the camera to point always at the same point you can see i haven't done this here because the camera is constantly rotating but anyway we can fix this when we are rendering the file so we can see the final part like there's the the sign and it gets closer and it ends on this screen okay so this is really cool you will learn if you do a lot of those to get like long videos or maybe smoother with nicer effects now that we have our recording we want to render before we do this however we need a program that is called ffmpeg i don't know if i have pronounced this in the right way it is a program that different uh, software use it, like to render videos like blender or things like that so to do this we can just press t go on to our folder and take this folder named ffemp just rename it to this just this 
you can open this, you can see bin and then all those files. I think this is only for 64 bit, so if you have a 32 bit uh, computer, I don't know if this is going to work, just try it. And then maybe if it doesn't work, search on the internet for the 32 bit uh, version. So just take this, click copy, and go on to percentage of data percentage. Go on to Minecraft and then just paste it in here. So I've already pasted it. It is here. You can see it. FFAMPG. And you have these three files. You don't have to run them. You just have to save them here. Now you can go Minecraft. Press here on the render camera path. And now you want to select Equirectangular Rendering. Then you want to, uh, on the default quality, you can put in like something you want, like the bitrate. I'm leaving it at default quality. And here you want to put in the video resolution. The resolution has to be two by one. So like if you have like a thousand here, it has to be here 2000. It has to be two by one. If you want the resolution, how them will look like, you, you can just go on this and open resolutions and you can see this. So this is for HD, this is for full HD, this is for 2K, and this is for 4K. I'm going to render this in full HD, but if you want decent results, you want to do this on 2K, because the video is in 360 and it is going to look really bad, like even at this resolution. So if you want something really, really good, just do 4K or just 2K. I suggest you use one of those. I'm going to do uh, full HD. On advanced settings, you need to render name tags if you want, like name tags above player. I'm leaving it. Stabilize camera is the one that we need to make the camera look always at the same direction. So just enable all of those so the camera won't be rotating and, and it won't give any nausea to the viewers. And also chroma keying, you can disable this. It is just going to replace like the sky with the, a pattern, like only a color. So if I enable this and leave white, the sky is going to be totally uh, white without like clouds or blue things, only white. You can put whatever color you want. Then you can inject, then you can inject spherical metadata. Uh, I'm not enabling this because if, like if you want to edit the video, you don't have to do this. Anti-aliasing is like to uh, make the video like look better, like uh, the edges not pixelated but like smoother. The problem is that it will take a lot but a lot more so I'm not going to enable this. And once we have done everything, we can just press, wait, let me disable Chroma King. And once we're ready, we can just press render. And we can see that it is rendering. Now you can see it is going really fast. And if we open this, we can see all this stretched image. This is the 360 video. It is taking a really short time for me because I have a good uh, GPU. It is going to use GPU and CPU, so you need a decent computer to get to get the short times. And this image that is like all deformed is going to be stretched all on a sphere. You can see that it is not rotating, so it is always pointing this way. So that then the viewer will be able to look around by himself, like with the by moving the phone or just by pressing WASD. So like it goes around, you can see that anything that comes out on here comes back on here. So it's like everything in a cylinder. So just we just have to wait for this to render. I can just disable the show preview so it is going to be really faster. And we can just wait. Okay, we have 10 seconds left, so you can see this is the final part. Like when we, I am placing the, the sign and uh, the camera is, com is coming closer. You can see it is on the behind of us. So like this is going to be like cut and there we go we have rendered now we want to open the video folder and in this folder that is going to be on dot minecraft and then the replay videos will will have this watch out because this is going to be really really heavy so it is 400 megabytes i've come to files that were like 60 gigabytes i've got files that were like 60 gigabytes uh, heavy so just I would just watch out because files can be really, really heavy. Now, if you open this with like, if you're like me, a video. So if you have this player like me, film and TV, you can play, you can play this. 
you can see this is all stretched but if you press on this it becomes a 360 video so we can look around and you can see it looks really really bad and this is simply because I've rendered it at a really really low quality and also because the viewer itself isn't really really good if you increase the quality on the render section it is going to be really really better now we can just close this and if you want to edit just feel free to edit it with, like with Vegas Pro I'm not going to edit this but after you have edited the video you can just go on with the fourth file that is metadata when you upload these videos to YouTube YouTube will just see it as a normal video like not a 360 just like this and it won't make it 360 so we need to tell YouTube that this video is in 360 and we want it in 360 so you just, you just have to add to the video like in the details of the video that this video is in 360 to do this you just open this file that is 360 video metadata tool and as soon as it opens you get like to open I like to open a file go on to the video so replay videos we got it here we can open it and then click on inject and this will add to the video like the so and it will add to the video like the tag that says that this video is in 360 when we will upload it on YouTube YouTube will make in 360 so just name it 360 video just press save and you can see that just wait a, a few seconds and you, we can see that all this is being injected and we have here 360 video mp4 we have the video not on 360 because this player doesn't support it but if you use video film and TV it is going to be in 360 automatically because it reads that it is in 360 now we can just upload this on YouTube so you can just go here create upload video and just select files and select the file that you want to upload now I am not going to upload it right now because my brother is going to kill me because he's playing Fortnite at the moment and so guys I'm not going to upload it right now but by the end of this video you will see like in the description a link where you can go and see the videos that I have uploaded it is, it is going to be unlisted so only you that have watched the tutorial can understand how it has come out so guys thank you all for watching the video if you have any clue or any question just comment below or even just join my discord the link is in the description so you can just have a direct response from me just if you have any problem just message me on discord and i will try to help you hey guys so please be sure to leave a like subscribe join my discord the invite is in the description and as always thanks for watching